Have you ever wanted to experience the splendor and culture of Spain, Portugal, and France? I know I do. But what I'm about to describe isn't just about traveling. I'm talking about an immersion into the European beauty and mystery of some of the church's greatest holy sites, Fatima, Lourdes, Avila. From October 23rd to November 1st of 2016, I'm leading a St. Paul Center pilgrimage to these and other incredible sites. If you've ever seen the Bible and the Virgin Mary video series or listened to the Art of Catholic podcast, you know that I have a deep love for Our Lady. I can't wait to pray where Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco witness the appearance of our mother Mary in Fatima and see the crown of the Virgin's statue, which now boasts the bullet from the would-be assassin of St. John Paul II. While 2017 is the official 100th anniversary of the apparitions at Fatima, they actually started in 1916. So we'll be there for the 100th anniversary of the beginning of Mary's appearances and avoid all the crazy crowds that will be there later. So we'll be able to move around more freely and meditate on our surroundings. And that's important because Mary's message of prayer and consecration of Russia to her immaculate heart is just as apropos now as it was then. And speaking of prayer, another of the many highlights of the trip is Avila, Spain. We'll actually celebrate Holy Mass at the gorgeous Carmelite Monastery where one of my heroes, St. Teresa of Avila, is buried. 2015 was actually the 500th anniversary of her birth. I'm gonna be giving talks all during the pilgrimage. And certainly, a lot of what I'll share, I learned from this great spiritual master and doctor of the church. Teresa opened the door to a deeper conversion to Christ than I ever knew possible. And that's part of what I'll be passing along as we travel. So, Fatima and Avila, what could be better? How about passing into the beautiful Pyrenees Mountains and pulling into the famous city of Lourdes? Everyone knows it's the site of one of the most famous Marian apparitions ever. This is where we walk in the footsteps of St. Bernadette and submerge ourselves into the waters of the healing baths where so many people have experienced miraculous cures. And what's really cool is that we'll be there for the final nights of the famous candlelight procession that winds through the city as people pray the rosary, asking Our Lady of Lourdes to intercede to the Lord for their individual needs. Now, it's hard to imagine, but there's so much more to this trip. The graceful city of Salamanca, Alba de Tormes, Burgos, and Loyola, birthplace of Ignatius, founder of the Jesuits, and one of the greatest saints in the history of our glorious church. While it's a spiritual pilgrimage and we'll cover a lot of ground, all the while we'll be feasting on great food with newfound friends and enjoying excellent hotels and coaches. We're partnering with 206 Tours on this trip and having traveled with them in the past, trust me when I say they are top notch. So come on and join me from October 23rd to November 1st in the year of mercy, 2016, for a trip to remember. More importantly, it's a trip that will deepen your faith. Life is a pilgrimage. We're all on our way to another eternal destination. And trips like this help prepare us for that final pilgrimage to spend eternity with our Lord, His mother, and all those who have gone before us in the grace of Christ. Ultimately, that's what pilgrimages are all about. Click on the link on the video or the one down below to check out all the details. And I look forward to seeing you as we travel side by side with Our Lady through some of the most beautiful and holy places in the world. It wouldn't be the same without you.